Joining me in a Fox Business exclusive, Senator Marco Rubio. So good to have you here, Senator. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I know Venezuela is a subject that is near and dear to your heart, so we're going to get to that momentarily. But first, I want to get to the breaking news out of China concerning China. The president saying just moments ago that if necessary, he will push the deadline for a trade agreement past March 1st. Uh, we know China's stealing, stealing all kinds of stuff, $600 billion worth of intellectual property every year. So even if we reach a deal, Senator Rubio, how do we know that the Chinese are going to play by the rules? Well, we shouldn't expect that they will. There has to be mechanisms to monitor it. But I think we should start with this baseline. There's a lot of noise around this, so let's make it very simple. And that is, Chinese companies involved in doing business in the United States should have to operate under the same conditions and same restrictions as American companies have to operate in China. I mean, it's a, how, how, so how I is it different? Walk us through though. that. How is that? What well, I'm sorry, walk different? Us, walk us through that, how it's different, how they get to play I'll by I'll tell you how it's different. Rules. So basically, they have no restrictions here, right? They come into the U.S., they can buy anything they want, they can invest in anything they want, they own the companies here, they can buy any company they want to buy because we're an open society and a free market. So none of this they, goes on through the other CFIUS hand, and, you know, Well, it board. can. There's a national, so obviously there's a national security component to it. But in terms of the cost of investment and so forth, they're buy, especially if they're not in a critical industry like telecommunications or anything of this nature, they are operate unfettered. Meanwhile, U.S. companies operating in China, first of all, you have to have a Chinese partner. Number two, oftentimes that Chinese partner, once they figure out to, how to do what you are doing in China, they kick you out and they take over your business. In the process, they'll steal your intellectual property or they'll just force you to transfer it. By law, they'll say, you can operate in China, you can have access to our market, but you have to share with us the secrets on how you do it. And then, of course, they figure it out and kick you out. Yeah, and this has been going for on for so long. It's been going right. on for a while. And you know what? Uh, I, I certainly applaud the administration for taking this on in a way that we have not seen previous administrations, at least not so publicly, right. do. Uh, so but what's going to change? I mean, why is this time perhaps any different? Uh, are you confident that we can reach some kind of deal where there's some kind of normal playing field? Well, I'm not confident that we can reach a deal with them. Uh, uh -huh. That's that for them. It's a major change. I mean, imagine they've had a pretty good thing going for 20 years. It's going to be hard mm -hmm. to get them to move from that position. What I am confident of is that for the first time since you know the last 25 years, we have an administration that's actually serious about doing something about it. You know, everybody else ran for president or was president. They claimed they were going to do it. Then a bunch of corporate CEOs would go to the White House with their multinational companies. They'd complain, and then we'd back down. And that Chinese were counting on that again. It didn't work this time. Now, we have to see it through here. You know, we have to make sure that we don't settle for a deal that doesn't really solve the core problem. And the other thing that's changed is the consensus in this town for a long time was, don't worry, let them cheat, let them steal. Once they get rich, they're going to act like we do. They're going, to be, they're, going to be, they're going to behave more like we do and follow the rules. That didn't work. And we have woken up to the reality that they have cheated and stolen their way to parity in many of these industries and perhaps threatening to surpass us. Right. And, uh, and it's almost too late. In fact, I think this is the last opportunity we have to bring some, uh, some balance to this relationship. No, I mean, you've got to do it now while we are still the world's largest economy. If you wait until uh, we don't have that status anymore, it may be a whole lot more difficult.